Oh, I'm watching Icebox, I guess. Here it is. Here's Icebox. The t it's actually called You're Watching Icebox. It's not called Icebox. It's called You're Watching Icebox. This is a point and click I found on uh, Itch. I'm by some indie point and click developers. Can I click, can I click around here? Click on the... Ah! Oh, interesting. <laughs> the volume, that's, oh, that's interesting. All right, play, let's just play. I need to, I want, I want to uh, try to get through this quickly because I want to get through it in one episode. Icebox, yeah. Because if I don't get it through it in one episode, it'll be like two or three Welcome episodes, which is kind of awkward. I'm Bernie Plunkett, right? And you're watching Icebox, the coolest show on the box. All right. Next up, right, we've got a real right? life zoologist, yeah? And later, yeah. right, we'll check out the zany antics of German techno outfit, Nihilist the Barn. Let's do it. But first, let's take a look at what's hot in the clubs of Frankfurt. Oh my God. And we're out. Uh, Two. Oh, jeez. I was holding that the whole time. You could tell, couldn't you? It was fine, but mm. can you stop sweating so much? These lights are killing me. Sweating? Where's Nigel with my nose spray? Plunk it. Oh, jeez. This Who's this guy? This shambles. Ratings are through the floor. Kids don't want to watch a washed-up comedian twice their age pretend he's one of them. We need uh. quality content, popular guests, and a decent host. Decent. That's today's ice cool word, which means it's time to cool off. <laughs> That's it. If this airing isn't flawless, you're out on your ass. Oh. But think I'm joking? We're already you, recording. What do you do? Um, junior lighting tech. You're fired. It's an unpaid internship. What about you, mate? Uh. Uh, Look at his hands. Look at his finger. Manager. Get out. But my 12 All children. of you. Get out. Not you, idiot. Anyone not hosting, producing, or filming this show is fired. And you. One mistake. One cock up. One slight off script ad. So. And you. Oh, no. So, what? I gotta do everything myself? Back in three. Two, uh, but you did. But the thing is on fire. Come back. Icebox. Yeah. But it, well, come on. The thing is on fire. And get that fire out somehow. What? We're on though. What? Am I? Oh, get it. That curtain's really going up. Do something. Where's the? Uh, uh, Let's uh, see what bodacious prizes we have in the icebox. Uh, Ice box today. Yeah. We've got Icy Girl, the Blizz new single from Freezer. <sighs> I need something actually icy. Ice box leg warmers. Radical. Yeah, radical. And a fire extinguisher. Oh, thank God. D uh, ah, no. Where's it? All right. Oi, good looking. Go and introduce me to the folks at home. Ah! Uh, of course. There's a the fire. Contest. My fuzzy friends get antsy, and this vulture's not half heavy. Oh, oh my oh. god. Ew, okay. What's it go- No! Fire! Oi, good looking. Ah! Go and introduce me. Fine, 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 fine. Shut and up. vulture's not half Our first guest, a zoologist, a doctor, cockbomb? Hang on, I need to turn subtitles on. Okay, fix that. <laughs> oh look! Again, I'm giving it, there's a there's a mouth over her mouth now. Our first guest today works with all manner of all. Awesome there we go. I was missing some dialogue She's there. As radical as a raccoon and as cool as um. As cool as a sea cucumber. Leftover chicken give cancer. I really want to say she's as cool as cancer. Can I just say that I'm? What's the consequence is gonna be? She's as cool as cancer. A crocodile? Cancer. Oh god. The constellation. Why a crocodile? You know, cool as the crab. Cancer. <laughs> cancer. The crab. <laughs> Welcome to the ice box, Doctor Cockbomb. It's pronounced cockbomb, love. Cockbomb. Cock. Cock. Enough of that. Ask a question. Uh. 
So, Dr. Cockbomb, who's your friend? So, Dr. Cockbomb, who's your friend? Call me Fanny, love, and her name's Ivana. Fanny Cockbomb. Uh, Ivana kiss and hug. Ivana, Ivana, sit on your face. Oh my god, that's it's so very much thing. worse. Yeah, uh, what kind of bird is she? She's a murder death vulture. Wow, scary man. Wouldn't want to meet one of them when I'm out clubbing. Oh no, she's <laughs> playful as a kitten. Sure, she'll crack open your skull and burrow that beak of hers into your brainstem, given half a chance. Yeah. But she has such a soft plumage. Yeah, she's cute. Look at her. She looks... She looks stuffed. Uh, but Ivana's quite safe, yeah? But, uh, Ivana's quite safe, yeah? Oh, goodness, no. <laughs> Especially around loud noises and bright lights. Uh-oh. Right. Uh, good to hear. Get the but fire! To it, I can stick her head in a bag. Sends her right to sleep. Right. Right. Bought anything else to show us hip young people? Course, love. A bucket. Bucket <laughs> of snakes, that's what. Oh, no. They're snakes, right? They're not poisonous, snakes, yeah? Right? They're not poisonous, yeah? Only, they don't seem very secure in that bucket. Oh, goodness me, no. Not poisonous at all. Just venomous. Thank crime. They're venomous. <laughs> yeah. They're not poisonous. They could only hurt you if you ate them. Now, call me old-fashioned, but if I'm going to put something long and slender in my mouth, it's not going to be a snake. What is wrong with you, lady? <laughs> How about you tell us kids about zoology for a while? How about you tell us kids about zoology for a while? You got it. So, I was doing this baboon operation, right? And in walks the hunkiest piece of ours. Good thinking. <laughs> While she's waffling the camera, sort out that fire. Get, get the fire. Uh, I'm surprised it has not gotten any bigger. Uh, the curtain is slightly on fire. Nothing. Please be a real fire extinguisher. <laughs> Oh no! No! Would you look at that? Novelty fire extinguisher. Fires a hilarious burst of confetti. Hilarious. Oh, contents highly flammable. Oh no! Oh, get something else. The moose. George radical moose. Oh my gosh! Why? What? Who would turn off of this? This pile of confetti most of it's on fire. Uh, here, grab this. Reminds me of my wedding. Only a lot less weeping. Oh. Throw it on George. Reg, get on with it. <sighs> no way you'll reach the moose head with the fire raging. I like uh I like uh, hearing the It's it's different from the usual point and click convention. You're hearing uh -oh. you're hearing someone else. Yeah. Say it. Security's been fired along with everyone else, and some guy just barged onto set. Reginald D Plunkett. Uh Little busy here, buddy. You're a hard man to get hold of. Yes. Well, Mr. Pittsworth. Bartholomew Pittsworth. Who are you? I've sent you multiple letters on behalf of your wife. Oh, my, no. My wife? I'm here to serve your divorce papers. Oh, great. Get out. You need to sign. This feels like the, um, ransom do do. scene from oh, the Moy nice Park. <laughs> I have to sign. I have to sign. It's about your legal bumble jabber. I'll never sign. The wheel is cool. The kids love it. Quit screwing around. Oh, look. Uh, look. Uh, throw the bucket of snakes on it. It's a bucket of snakes, all right. Yeah. I'd really recommend not messing with the teetering bucket of deadly snakes. <sighs> Why is it teetering? Is it a bad table? Lick him. Lick the lawyer. I've had these lawyers on me for months, bless her. Right. Um. <laughs> yes. Great joke there, friend. Hey, all you dudes and dudettes out there, we have a surprise guest. Allow me to introduce, right, the uh, uh, esteemed comic lawyer, Mr. Bartholomew Goodman. Bartholomew Pittsworth. Oh, my goodness. Oh, touched a nerve there, didn't we? Meanwhile, this lady, she, she wants her name to be the Vulture of Dr. Conklin's gauntlet with razor sharp nice tones. Nice Vulture. Isn't she a darling? Skin your arms and flesh if you get close, of course. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Well. What else? What else? Leave. Get leave. back on set. No. Why? There's nothing around. I gotta get out of here. Throw the lawyer on the fire. Okay, young adults. Let's talk law, right? With our friend here, the lawyer. 
Mm -hmm. So what's hot in law right now? So, us young people want to know, right, what's hot, yeah, in law long right now. Young people well, such as yeah. myself. Family law, my speciality, certainly is a fascinating topic. This case I'm working on now, for instance. Yours, that is. The husband had shared the marital bed with four other women. <laughs> we don't need to hear about that. Monkey. Well, his wife wouldn't have known a thing, of course, if he hadn't filmed the whole escapade and accidentally mailed it to her. Oh, this guy. To anybody. <laughs> How about you quit following me fo around, How yeah? How about you quit following me, yeah? Well, once you sign and return the letter, I shall. I don't sign, sign anything what? without my lawyer present. I am your lawyer, Mr. Plunkett. What? you contracted another since your wife filed. Uh. Right, well... It's hard to find the time, yeah? Anything you need help with in the document, just show it to me. Oh, okay, um... What was that name again? What was that name again? A bottom poo shit's worth. Bat... Bat... Bad odor you emits first. Forgotten you exist worth. My colon you kiss first. You you got your you got a few nits worth your pants are you split skirt you had a few spritz first your ma dropped you at birth that's not even clever my sides are you split smirth B better you quits first a bottom poo shits worth wow uh. How do you how do you like the chance to win big? How do you like a chance to win big on the wheel of cool? Dun dun dun. Oh, dun, dun, dun. You yes you could be the lucky winner of. All expense paid to a brand new jet ski, a French cooking lesson, a beautiful lounge suite, and 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 and, and, and any of these. And all expenses paid to her of the Beddington sewage farm. Here goes. Congratulations! You've won! A used novelty fire extinguisher, a handful of soonish confetti, a riveting article of statutory documentation. A riveting article of statutory documentation. Oh boy! Is that the, uh. Yeah, I just gave him back the. <laughs> Nothing else I can do with this icebox. That's good to know. I like that. That's a good point and click touch. And I guess because it's such a short point and click, it's even more handy. Like, you don't need to bother with that anymore. I like that. That's good. Um, the remaining confetti is, well, yeah. This is really getting out of control. I like that they have that X there. Uh, you want some of this, George? What are you hoping to achieve? I don't know. I'd really recommend not messing with the teetering bucket of deadly snakes. I am not holding your things for you. I just gave you something to hold. Uh, maybe talk to- What are you following me around? And then I says, I'd like to get in your trunks. <laughs> oh, yes, dearie. Um. Keep going, right? It's all very Yes, totally. Oh, 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 guests come on from backstage, you're here. Get back on set. <sighs> I don't see anything else to interact with. There's very, there's very a limited amount of things to do, which should make it easier, but so far it is not. Uh, I've exhausted my possibilities. I am not holding. Don't try it. The thing will take your arm off. Oh, not for me, thanks, love. Uh, this. Oh, not for. Don't this. try it. Alright, well, I'll talk to him again. Okay, young adult. Uh. So, Mr. Lawman, can you explain, right, to us young adults, right? 
I call two paragraph one. Oh my god. As much as both parties, parties, how good a prize, right? Yeah, totally. In this case, Mr. Plunkett, being yourself and your estranged wife. Oof, that's no party I'd want to be at. <laughs> laugh, 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 laugh. Is there anything else about it? Can you expire parties? How the party? Oof. Oh, it's the same exchange. Um. Don't want him to be in a specific. Uh, 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 hmm. How's about another weird? Oh, you a freak. Oh, that was a new Only thing. Only one there. prize per contestant, I'm afraid. You'll have to give your previous prize. Uh, back. Well, okay. Here goes. So, what am I trying to give him? Congratulations! You've won. Uh. Uh, use all the fire extinguisher. I have all such confetti. Hmm. This feels like the thing I would want to trick him into giving. A rivet. That's the thing he already had. But all right. Well. And uh, where 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 do I want him to stomp? Right here. Where do I want him to stomp? Hmm. Okay. No, it looks like he always goes there when we talk. Who is your mother? Oh, fun of you, Pipsworth. Oh, hang on. Every time I do that. What was that name again? But who do you omit first? Oh, 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 Jesus! Where are the. Oh, there they are. Oh, no. That's a lot of snakes. That really didn't help things. That fire's not getting any better either. Just get the band to play us out. They're backstage waiting. Well, well, we have an empty bucket now. Empty bucket. And... If I go backstage... Yeah, boys. Yeah. Okay. Music, yeah. Yeah. Now, to play us out from the clubs of Frankfurt, Nihilista Bond! Oh, that's the band, huh? <laughs> you guys got any water? I could really use some water. Fill this bucket up. Roll credits in three, two. Halt! You lie. Stop the music. You go. What? No. Have I said dance? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? What's the problem? What is the problem? There is a moose. The moose? So they do not play with moose. Are you kidding? You're not the fire? Confetti? Quite right, Gunther. We do not play without confetti. Without confetti? It oh is God. not art. All right, all right. The floor over there. All right. That confetti does not excite. Nine. Nine. It must be being held by Gunther. Okay, so get rid of that moose head and get them some confetti. We need them to play us out. I can do this, I can do this. Get some bucket from the icebox. No? Where do I- ah. What do I use to put on the fire? What is- What is on the vulture? That hood is not good television. So oh, it's got its hood on. It. Oh god, no. Uh, your vulture, right? Seems to have taken flight, yeah? She'll get tired of circling in a few hours. Unless she sees some nearly dead animal to carry off. Uh... The moose is, is nearly dead. Yeah, get on with the task at hand. I am not holding your... Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trick him into putting the hood on. How's about a... We oh! You and... Only well, okay. Here you go. You get 
Congratulations! You... A handful of sins. No, I don't. Oh boy! I think I accidentally click stuff when I when I try to skip through dialogue. Here, let's do that again. How's about we? Oh, oh, you, yes, you could be the lucky winner of. Uh, 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 any, 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 any of these. A brand new jet ski trailer. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Only one prize per contestant. Well, okay. Here you go. Congratulations! You've won! Congratulations! You've won! A stylish velvet vulture hood. A stylish velvet vulture hood. Oh boy! Put it on. Wait, it doesn't show that he's holding that. I think he needs to just hold the documentation. Quit. Because that's the only thing it shows him holding. So I'm gonna just do that again. You. Doesn't matter. Give him the. I mean, whatever. It's the only thing it shows him holding. So. Why does he do it every time? Congrats! A used novelty fire extinguisher. Oh boy! The wheel spinning is the only time you notice that the the graphics don't the the it's not pixel perfect. God, I gave him the wrong thing. Wait, it shows that he's holding the fire extinguisher though. Hmm, I don't know then. Where do I get water? Though. Can you play now? Not with that moose eyeing us. We will not perform for the moose. <sighs> Without confetti, there is no art. The colored dots represent man's inhumanity to colored dots. Oh, I can give you the right. confetti. All right, wait, here, here. Right. Now, Mr. Bond, on behalf of Icebox, I'd like to present you with this handful of confetti. What is this? Oh, nine. Oh, come on. Why not? This confetti is exposed. Colors visible to all the world. Confetti should be kept hidden in darkness. Such is the way. Just as there is vibrance, as there is love, uh, so the world hides it beneath anguish. Whoa. Give me the For fire extinguisher back. You need confetti deject in a pouch of black described. Obviously. Oh! Obviously. 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 Don't you obviously me. Here. Yeah, that hood can make a little bag for confetti. Oh, there we go. Right, nihilist to bomb. Deject, right? In a pouch of black disquiet, yeah? Ah, just the stuff. There we go. What the hell am I gonna fill this bucket with? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Give me that back. Has about another chance to win the major prize on the wheel of oh, you and I want him to give me the Only fire extinguisher. Right. Here goes. So I can spray George and he catches fire you and the, uh, the vulture comes to get him. I can't imagine giving the bucket would, would do anything. A an article of statutory documentation. Oh boy! I don't want that. That's for sure. Hey, what do you have to say? And then I says, "There's a mem." Oh yes, dearie. Ah. Say you were suddenly surrounded by a lot of snakes. Oh, that's an easy one. I use me snake spray. Oh yeah. I know how to handle me serpents, if you get my meaning. Uh huh. Don't have some handy. Sure, love. Here you go. Ah, good. Now, spray the fire. That won't get the fire out. Stop screwing around. Look, I don't know. Is this meant to be a bit? Cause it's not working. I need to spray. That's not help. Really, Reg? I don't know. There's no snakes anywhere. Go backstage. Get back on set. <sighs> no, I'm leaving. Get back on set. Where are those? Where are them snakes at? Where are them snakes at? 
get back on set. Oh man, I want to get out of here. What else do you have to say? And then I says, those aren't the jeans I'd like to get into. What's, What's your problem, theory? lady? Keep yeah, going, just keep talking. Right? It's all very... Um... So, Mr. Lawman, can you explain right to us Article 3, Paragraph 4? Termination shall be granted hereby. I think I just keep oh, clicking on the back. You, Mr. Plunkett. Do I have to make it any clearer? Yes. So, Mr. L can you explain, right? Explain. To us young adults, right? Um. Termination shall be. This is the only one he hasn't explained. Article 5, paragraph 7. With respect to common decency, it merely states, Mr. Plunkett, that when in the presence of your wife, her parents, mm -hmm. co workers, grandmother, and young niece, mm -hmm. you, for a change, remain decent. Well, hey, that's our ice cool work. Oh! Today. So it's time to cool off. Oh! If you think this will get me to leave, sir, you are gravely mistaken. No, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. How's about a wheel? Oh. Watch you, this. Yes, you could be the lucky winner. Doesn't and I don't doesn't matter what he's gonna win. But it doesn't matter what I give him. Only well, okay. Give me yes. that back. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've, You've won. won. A bucket. bucket of snakes. Oh boy. Now. Now that you're holding the bucket, How's about can you say the secret word, please? Wheel Wait, I did the wrong thing. Oh. No, that's did the wrong thing. God, oh. why? Ah, uh, I clicked the wrong thing. Only well, uh, no, oh. give the bucket back. Give the bucket back. Congratulations, you've won an, an empty, empty bucket. Oh boy. Okay, now, sorry, for that detour, uh, for that repeat. So, Mr. Lawman, can you explain, right, to us young adults, right? Explain about the, uh, Article decency. Five, paragraph 7. With respect to common decency, it merely states, Mr. Plunkett, that when in the presence Look of... Look how it said decency wife, in it there, so that I were now. workers, grandmother, and young niece... You, for a change, remain decent. Well, hey, that's our ice cool word of the day. So it's time to cool off. Hey! Well, now I gotta get the bucket back. Chance to win the major prize on the wheel of cool. Okay, this shouldn't take too much longer. They have the confetti. Oh, I'm, I you, have a bucket full yes, of water. Well, I'm about to. Lucky winner of an I don't care. Just give him anything. Only one prize. Well, uh, here goes. Give him the the uh, documentation. Congratulations! You've won a yeah. riveting article of statue. Icy cool slime. Oh boy! That's what it is. The icy slime smells pretty terrible. What do I need this for? <laughs> Hey, laddies and lasses, let's do a groovy experiment. We're gonna see, right, if our icebox slime is flammable. <laughs> oh no, I hope not. I better detect it attracts snakes. No? Alright, it did the trick. Come here, George. Oh, there you are, alright. Ah! Well. It was flammable. Whatever. It doesn't it matter. <laughs> Play us off. Right, boys, that moose's caboose is too loose, right? And you got right, you can fit, yeah? Yeah, good. <laughs> right, yeah. What do, right? Here's what we do. Techno stylings of Nihilus to bar. Play us off, yeah? Right? Nine. Nine. What? Nine? I'll give you nine, you colossal crowd wankers. Nine of these right up your bony Teutonic asses. Wow. Your blood pressure, Reg. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just a little joke there, kids. 
My friends here were about to explain what could possibly be wrong. Yeah, now. what is wrong? You know, besides the massive rage in fire, He's, he is gonna blow a casket. And literal circling vulture. <laughs> well, there is the snakes. We do not tolerate snakes. Where? On the dance floor. Snakes and Germans and dance floors are not making good companions. Snakes with the biting. Snakes with the venoming. Snakes with the slithery dancing. A choice oh, yeah. must be made. Snakes and Germans must not meet on dancing floor. Right. <laughs> That's actually pretty fair enough. <laughs> but where are they? Okay, wait, just spray them down. Yeah, give them a squirt. Should satisfy him. Okay, young people, let's put Dr. Cockbottom's snake repellent to the test. Oh, oh. Nice. Snake repellent? Why would you want to repel snakes? What? If there are snakes around, I use my spray to get nice and cuddly with them. Oh. Who do you think I fit Good. in my pocket? The serpents are distracted. <laughs> now we dance. Uh, okay. Quick, sign us off. You I'm getting eaten alive. I <laughs> He's gonna be a pile of bones at the end of this. Is a skeleton. A cool skeleton. Saying ah. Roll credits. Yeah, you're watching Icebox or just Icebox. It's just this. You're watching Icebox. There we go. Brought to you by Powerhoof. Powerhoof.com. Yeah, thanks for the cool point and click. The the ice cool point and click point and power ho. <laughs> this is fun. This is a fun. This is funny. Good good uh short little point and click. Good job. Credit padding so we can listen to this song more. Yup, it's me, Dave Lloyd. <laughs> Icebox was hosted by Reggie Plunkett. Credit padding. Voice in your ear. Special guests today were. Oh, Franny Cockbaum was all the same voice actor. Wait, they're all. Wait, they're all Adrian Vaughn. Wow, good job. Dom and Jesus for keeping me company. This was made on stream. Huh? Are these credits long enough? Is it yes, yes, it's good. Hope so, because I don't have time to. Test. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Remember to like and remember to ice and subscribe and uh, hit this, and uh, see you in the subscribe box. Yeah. Is that we're good? Good news. Oh. Ratings are through the roof. Cool. Oh no. <laughs> He's not gonna make it. He'll be dead by then. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know why they thought people would be turning off when it's on fire. This is hell. Oh!